The phrase spill the beans has some messy and ambiguous origins. The most popular theory in almost every article is that it's derived from an ancient Grecian voting system. According to the folk etymology, they used either black or white beans to cast a vote, and the vote had to be unanimous. So if somebody came along and spilled the beans, the results could be revealed prematurely. But I wasn't able to verify that bean voting was ever actually a thing, nor did I find any ancient uses of the phrase spill the beans. They did have a pebble voting system though, which was pretty much the same thing with black and white pebbles that they put into an urn. That's what's being depicted in this Greek wine cup from around 500 BC, and it's one of the earliest known depictions of voting in art. But using spill as a verb to mean divulge or let out isn't ancient, and isn't in the OED until around 1577. Writing, although it be a shame to spill, I will not lewd to say that which his friends how said unto me. And the first use of beans in reference to voting came two years later by Sir Thomas North when he was writing about Plutarch. He was one year mayor and prowest of Athens. He came to it by drawing of the bean. So maybe that's where the conflation of beans came in, or maybe Sir Thomas North knew something, I don't know. But the first use of spill the beans as an entire phrase in the OED comes from 1919 in a book called Man from Tall Timber, where he wrote, Mother certainly has spilled the beans, thought Stafford and Vast. So long story short, I can't spill spill the beans beans because I don't know the secret of the bean, the bean connection. And it's kind of got my goat, so if you know, let me know.